Welcome to our quick start video. Follow along as we get you curating articles in just a few minutes. After you've installed My Curator, choose the My Curator menu item from the dashboard. This is your home page for My Curator with important links to the right. If you don't have your API key yet, follow the link to get API key. After you have your API key, let's go to the options page. You'll want to paste your API key into the API key field to access the cloud services. If your blog is in another language, you should set the Enable Non-English Language Processing option down below. The other options are already set up for normal curation. You can read about the rest of the options in the documentation on our site. Just press Save Options and you're ready to go. To get started right now, just go to the Get It menu item and drag the Get It bookmarklet to your bookmarks bar. Now, when you see an article like this one on the web, just click on Get It and you can post it right to your blog as a draft. You can also add some notebooks using the Notebook menu item and begin saving articles to your notebooks. See our Get It video and Notebooks video for more details on these powerful tools. We'll continue in this video with setting up the automated content gathering features of My Curator. Now let's grab our Source It tool. Sources tell My Curator what to read. Just as you would read blogs, Google Alerts, and news feeds, so does My Curator. The sources are stored in the WordPress links pages. View our planning and sources videos as well as documentation for more detailed descriptions. Click on the Source It button and drag it to your bookmarks toolbar. There are also instructions for using it on your tablet or phone. We're going to follow content curation of all things on our blog. I'm at the Content Marketing Institute site, and I want to use it as a source for my curator. Just click the Source It bookmarklet, and it finds the RSS feed for the site. No searching for the feed icon. Sources have a category, and we're going to group our sources into the Content Curation Source category. Just enter that into the Add New Link category. Just submit, and we're done. We've saved a source for my curator. Now I'm going to add a Google Alert source. I've already created a Google Alert in my Alerts account. Key is that I've told it to deliver it as a feed rather than an email, which you can do if you have a Gmail account. Now I just find the alert I want to use and then click on the RSS icon. That brings up a page full of RSS stuff that computers read. Just click the Source It bookmarklet, enter a name, choose my source category, which I created previously, and I'm done. You need to click the icon first, unlike on regular sites, because you could have many alerts and we need to tell the Source It tool which one to use. Now we've told my curator some of the sources we want it to read. It will actually read the full text of each article within the RSS feed of the sites or alerts we've saved. Now we need to tell my curator what to look for while it is reading. For this, we need to create a topic. In the My Curator menu, we choose New Topic and we get the New Topic page. Give the topic a name. Since I'm doing content curation, that will be the name I'm using. I'm going to fill in a few key fields. You can learn about the others in the Topics video and our topic documentation. For the Topic Search 1 field, each of the words entered here must be found in the article, or the article will be skipped. You may leave this blank and it will match all articles. I'm going to use Content curate with no ending and also no quotes otherwise the whole phrase must be together. The root of the word will match curate, curation, curating, curator, etc. For the topic search to field at least one of the words entered here must be found in the article or the article will be skipped. You may leave this blank and it will match all articles. I'm going to add a string of words that I'd like to see at least one of in the article. For the minimum article length in words, at least this many unique words of at least four characters must be in the article. I typically put in 100 or 200 to get in-depth pieces. If you don't have a number here, a lot of times you'll get very short little headlines. The assigned to category. This is the category the article will be assigned when it is posted to the main site after curation. This is a category on your live blog site. I'm going to create a new category of content curation now by entering it here. You could choose one that's already existing if you wanted. 
Finally, we assign the source to this topic. This links what we want my curator to read with what it looks for. Notice that we link by the source category and not have to link each individual feed. We now have a new topic. At this point, my curator will start reading your sources and finding articles. It will save any articles it finds that meet the topic's criteria in your training page. Normally, my curator runs in the background every six hours or so, depending on the setting in the options page. If you're impatient like me, go to the topics page and click on the Run AI Process button. This will force it to run right now. Again, normally it will run in the background every few hours and you don't need to do this. After it completes, wait about 10 minutes and click it again. This will collect the articles that have been processed by our cloud service. After it has completed, go to the Training Posts menu item in the dashboard. You will see all of the articles that my curator has found here. My curator's content discovery engine is one of its most powerful features. By training it, you can save hours per day in finding just the content you want. You train my curator by clicking on the training tags. Green thumbs up to say I like this. Red thumbs down to say no, I don't like this. My curator will classify articles as good or bad based on your training, allowing you to save time by ignoring the bad articles. View our training video and documentation for more details. We're going to curate our first article. Just click Make Live and we go to the WordPress editor. Notice the excerpt and attribution are already in the window. Down below, you see a meta box that contains the full text and all of the images of the article extracted from the web page. You can see how the paragraphs are highlighted as I hover over them. I can just click on a paragraph to add it to my post. I'll just click on this image to insert it too. I can format its location and how big it is. I could also make this a featured image. Back in the editor, you can see my new paragraph and image. I'll just enter some commentary, and when I click Publish, it's live. So in just a few minutes, you've set up and curated your first post with My Curator. Watch our planning video next for a more in-depth look at the My Curator concepts of topics and sources. Thank you.